Hey, okay, welcome to Integrative Preparedness. I'm Steve Smith. I can't really see whether I've got the pretty stuff framed for you all up there because the sun's down. I, I tried to give myself a little shade with the hat, but uh, I can't see well, and I'll just kind of move it around. Anyway, take my word for it. If you can't see much behind me, it is beautiful. What uh, I wanted to add something while I'm up here. One thing that this trip has made me start thinking more seriously about than I have in the past, and I've, I've thought about it, I've considered it in the past, uh, was, uh, was buying an RV, uh, not, not just for, uh, you know, recreational purposes. Actually, the, the more I travel around the country you know, researching for my books and things, uh, the more I've thought about uh, getting an RV. I'm thinking about just taking a year off with the kids, uh, with the whole family. Uh, when I say just the kids, people say, well, what about Kelly? Yeah, Kelly too, she's part of the family. Uh, with all of us to take about a year and just drive around the country, see all the, uh, the great, the beautiful spots, the historical plus spots, uh, the places where our family, for instance, came in in the 1600s and, and 1700s and how they made their ways west and some of the families still back there. Um, <laughs> And so I thought about uh, an RV, but as, as I think more about it as relates to, uh, is that better, uh, as it relates to preparedness, I think it makes a lot of sense. Now, any of you who do have RVs or trailers, uh, please leave your comments down there below. Let, let us know how it's worked out for you. Um, one thing that I don't think I've ever mentioned it on the channel, there are a lot of things that I've never mentioned on this channel that I think maybe I'm going to start um, is that I've mentioned to my friends in my, my circle um, the suggestion that a lot of their food storage and camping storage and things like that be stored in a trailer. Um, you know, whether or not vehicles will run after an EMP, a CME, whatever, some will, some won't, we, we're not sure. Um, but it could be other things that make you want to move, you know, someplace, move to your secondary or alternate location, whatever. Um, rather than going through a, you know, a scurrying, scurrying, let's load everything up in the bins that we've got and all this kind of stuff and buckets. Um, and a lot of people run out of storage space. You know, it's a lot of people have asked, geez, what do I do when I run out of storage space? Well, I've always suggested that, uh, that a covered trailer, um, you know, if you have an open trailer, I mean, it's better than nothing, right? But a covered trailer is an excellent place to store your preparedness items. And in there, I would put, you know, a lot of food because it's accessible. If you even park it in your, uh, in your, in your garage, uh, you can have all your food storage right there, and go out and get it when you need it. But uh, if if it's time to go. You just back your truck or, your, or whatever you've got uh, up to the, the garage door, open it up, hook it up, and then you're gone. Um, you know, I'm sure that, and what I, <clears throat> we don't have a trailer, we have a designated vehicle. I have a designated vehicle that a lot of the preparedness stuff goes into. As some of you know, I have an we have three large SUVs. I'm a big believer in SUVs. I'll do another one on that someday, uh, simply because they're, all of your space is always available and useful and can be gotten to better than a pickup truck. Um, and you can live in it. You can't, you know, if it's, just, if it's raining or sleeting or hailing, you can always curl up in the back of your your Suburban or your Excursion or your Tahoe or whatever, uh, you can't really curl up that comfortably in the back of your pickup truck. That's why I kind of prefer SUVs to pickups. Nothing wrong with pickup if you need to haul a refrigerator, right? Uh, or some goats. Um, but but the idea of, a, uh, of an RV is starting to make a lot more sense to me that if anything happened, you know, politically, economically. Um, when we're out west like this, I would much prefer to be in an RV so that whatever may happen, even if it was an EMP, a CME, we have, we would have a large amount of our preparedness uh, items with us and we have shelter. 
So uh, this was just a quick one. Maybe I'll do one more in depth later on, but I thought that I'd just jump off here. Let you see this beautiful stream behind me. I hope that I've gotten some of the stream in there. Like I say, the, 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 I can't really see the screen that well. Um, but, uh, but that's something that I'm going to be starting to consider, uh, not just for business purposes, but for um, and recreational purposes, but for uh, preparedness purposes. And I'd suggest everybody kind of think a little bit about it. Uh, let me know, for those of you who, uh, who have RVs and trailers, and there's, I won't go into it now, but there's, there's good and, you know, there's positive, I won't say good and bad, there's pos positives, negatives about each one. So uh, share those with us too, and, uh, and the rest of us will, will learn. So as much as I hate to, I'm going to get back in the vehicle, and uh, we're headed from here to Colorado. And maybe I'll shoot one down there, and you all have a great day. Remember that we prepare well today in order to live well tomorrow. And even though, you know, I've been involved in this for a long time, uh, everything uh, is open to evolving and growing and uh, just like I'm just now starting to <clears throat> consider adding that next step that uh, that RV to uh, to the preparedness recipe so you all have a good day I'll talk to you later bye bye